Morning everyone, my name is Jacob Pritchard. I'm with Port Jackson Securities. Um, this is gonna be a webinar done with DCC Digital X CEO, Lee Travers. Thanks for coming on board today. How are you? Yeah, well, Jacob, thanks for having me on again. Um, great to talk to shareholders and, and run to what's been a, a really strong quarter. Yeah, it's been it's been one hell of a year. And I think um, since our last update, it seems like um, DCC has been um, really kicking some goals just over the last quarter by the sounds of it. Um, so yeah, all props to, to you guys for a very solid quarter. Um, I'm sure a lot of shareholders watching today have probably had a look through the financial results that you guys came through. Um, some pretty good metrics in there. Um, what's, what's, some, what's some initial comments that you have about the quarter that we've just had? Yeah, I think, I think firstly, it's, it's this quarter's financials are really a culmination of the last year's work by the team of establishing our products, establishing the strategy, uh, working really, really hard um, to be the leader in Australia within digital asset funds management and also bringing to market new innovative products. And uh, yeah, pleased to see that sort of hitting the top and bottom line there, delivering the first operating uh, positive cash flow quarter uh, in quite some time. Um, you know, with that uh, that revenue actually hitting hitting the bank account uh, for the previous quarters, um, as well as the revenue that will be coming uh, through both the core business uh, and some of the non-core business activities, really picking up. You know, a thousand percent increase on the revenue side uh, is obviously uh, quite extraordinary. But um, you know, that's not only within the the core business, but also points to some of the success that we've had over the years. Uh, within DigitalX um, of delivering activities that have led to a lot of value in the marketplace. So there's potential for um, uh, other activities like that to generate more revenue in the future as well. Um, quarter end liquid assets, uh, bearing in mind the quarter end prices for digital assets were substantially lower than what they are right now, uh, was very strong at 33 million. Uh, that doesn't include in the equity position around X bullion or bullion asset management, um, the human protocol, uh, any of the other unlisted assets. So clearly digital X is in a very, very strong position here. Exactly right. I think uh, a lot of shareholders were pretty pleased. I know, um, not that we were surprised, but really, really wrapped to see um, that revenue, especially positive cash flow, which is, which is great and gives it a great uh, launch pad, obviously for the next six months. And we'll probably touch a little bit more about um, how the crypto market cryptocurrency market is going at the moment. Um, but yeah, arguably we'd say DCC is in a, probably the strongest position that we've seen probably over the last three years from what we can see. But um, not to mention DCC is in a, a very interesting market. Obviously a lot of shareholders are aware that are, that are watching, obviously probably why they invested as well. Um, but for any uh, new, new shareholders and people that um, are obviously just coming to DCC for the first time, um, what, what's your comments on the strategic direction for DCC? Um, I guess, look, obviously you're, you're obviously aware of this, but how do you see that evolving, given the, the up, upcoming change at the, the CEO level? I think that in terms of the strategic direction, that's to give our shareholders exposure to both blockchain as an asset class, so investing in Bitcoin, digital assets inside a managed fund vehicle, um, as well as exposure to blockchain technology as a business enabler. We really see that as being incredibly disruptive for traditional businesses. And that's why we're building using what will be the largest blockchain build in Australia, building on top of that. And what we're pushing forward with our RegTech product drawbridge to use a digital solution to help companies manage their regulatory responsibilities and an environment where ESG is really, really important. We're helping companies on the governance side, um, really helping them achieve what they're looking to do and, and manage those responsibilities using digital solutions. So um, yeah. uh, certainly it's a very exciting opportunity uh, for those that are working in the company and I think for our shareholders to come along the ride as well. So the CEO mandate is obviously to accelerate the execution of that strategy rather than to evolve it. The board is, is very, very strong in terms of what that strategy is. So um, anyone coming on board uh, to help run with that further, their core focus is going to be on executing that better than it's been executed so far. Uh, in terms of uh, potentially some of the changes there, we are seeing some very high quality candidates 
um, particularly at the board level, that have expressed interest in, in coming uh, and joining Digital X uh, and our story. So, um, yeah, I'm certainly excited for what will be the next chapter for Digital X, um, really accelerating some of the early success we've had and, and bringing to life that, uh, that strategy uh, on both sides of the business. Um, so, yeah, from that sort of level, I think uh, yeah, strong hands um, will have on board coming and, and really executing on what that strategy has been so far. I don't expect to see major changes at all. Lovely, lovely. Obviously, the news was a bit, um, I wouldn't say out of the blue, but it seems to be taken pretty well by the market, um, which is obviously good for the business. Um, now, any can you discuss anything on the personal news at, uh, at Digital X? Yeah, certainly um, my interests are in the digital asset marketplace. Um, I've been given an opportunity with uh, probably the largest um, digital asset firm in the world. It's an exchange called um, called Binance. Um, so yeah, uh, next chapter for me, seven years at, at Digital X, uh, and yeah, time to let somebody else um, you know take on what is uh, a fantastic opportunity. Um, we've got a team here that's in place now that has been running with the business um, for the better part of the last four years, and we've made some recent appointments that are really, really strong. Um, one is a, a governance and funds management professional, five years with one of the world's leading investment banks. Um, we've hired uh, a new CTO that'll be coming on board that um, has uh, has really helped shape Drawbridge, um, and his, his core focus is on that. So yeah, I'm uh, really comfortable with uh, the team that's in place that's delivered these recent results and we're taking DigitalX to bigger and bigger heights. No, lovely, lovely. And I'm sure a lot of shareholders are excited for the, the years to come. I've got to say, like props to you, um, obviously with how, how you've uh, built up DigitalX and obviously the launch pad that um, I guess they're in at the moment um, for the next person to come up. Um, and and really and really take it off to the next chapter. But um, I know a lot of shareholders. Um, no one's going to be happy to see see you leave. But obviously, we've been, we've enjoyed seeing your face uh, among being also an ambassador for the company. Um, you could arguably say so. Um, no, we'll, we'll be all wishing you the best of luck with um, with future endeavours as well. But nevertheless, um, hoping to see some pretty good results moving forward from DCC. But um, now yeah. moving on to more of a um, pretty interesting topic topic about the crypto markets. Um, obviously, a lot of people got pretty excited at the start of this year, but we've seen a pretty big pullback. Um, obviously, that was right in the middle of the quarter that we've just had, um, but we are seeing some volume increase and look, the prices are starting to, to bounce back. Um, I guess any comments on the funds management business inside DCC during that period? Yeah, obviously the funds management business did see a, a pretty significant drawdown in the asset class over the period. And what really brought that about was, was two major areas. Uh, the ESG concerns in terms of the carbon footprint of Bitcoin mining was a big impact. And then also the regulation side, China effectively banned businesses for op operating in the space and then banned Bitcoin mining. So two huge impacts in a very, very short period of time. However, if you'd asked me at the start of the year, what are the two biggest risks for the digital asset market? I would have said the carbon footprint and I would have said the concentration of power within China as, as one country. Now, both of those two major risks are being eliminated. So my view and the company's view on the long-term upside is you know, significantly decreased and the assets are, have been trading at a 50% at a discount. So it's an absolutely a, a buy the dip opportunity uh, for Digital X, and, and we did that, um, signaled our intention, made a strategic investment, 750,000 split over the two months, being May and June. Um, we had really strong retention around all our fund investors, which highlights that the message of having a small percentage of your portfolio in for the long term inside a high growth asset class is the way to invest rather than to be trading using leverage and to uh, you know have any of the other issues that you know digital asset markets present. It's a case that um, yeah, long term, small percentage of the portfolio accumulating over time is the right strategy, and, and that message is absolutely heard by our fund investors. Um, and we've had good retention in terms of uh, the outlook going forward. It really is around accelerating the funds under management there by bringing in additional investors as well. Um, I mentioned we have had a recent hire on 
the fund's operation side. Um, yeah, five years experience at uh, a leading investment bank um, and his role will effectively be managing all the fund's governance uh, as well as managing all the documentation that goes to financial advisors, wealth management platforms, you know, due diligence kits, etc. So that uh, the digital, X, digital asset fund products are on the same level as the leading funds within Australia from a documentation due diligence perspective. Um, alongside that, our fund manager, Matt Harry, who had three years experience running his own digital asset fund, um, continues to, uh, to work well in that team. Uh, and we've got uh, yeah, a lot of relationships there that will hopefully bear fruit over the sort of coming 12 months with new investors coming in. Um, so yeah, despite the pullback, I think we as a company managed it really well um, by investing, retain, retaining investors, bringing new talent to the team. And I think there's a positive outlook for that business. Perfect, perfect. No, it's good. Um, it's good to, to see some pretty good results in times of adversity. And I think um, a lot of shareholders understand this as well. And, and you've certainly demonstrated it um, inside the business as well. Um, obviously, shareholders that are well informed or even um, participants in the fund in the digital asset space that you guys are in. Um, you know, if they if they if they too have this long outlook um, of accumulating preserving the capital, not looking for, you know, high high returns in the in the short term of a month or two. Um, you know, we're we're all working towards a common goal here and um there's there's a there's a lot more bigger at play at the moment. Um obviously that's I'm sure I'm sure you'll probably have some comments on for for another time um with the the sort of field that we're in at the moment. But um nevertheless great things coming forward. Now um moving on to the reg 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 tech business, um this seems to be expanding beyond the initial securities trading policy product. Um can you provide the the latest on the news from the drawbridge business? Yeah, absolutely. So we've had a significant amount of engagement with our target market within Drawbridge, which is public companies, governance professionals. We've got the product in front of dozens of public companies and thousands of governance professionals within Australia. And what we've seen is that there's a clear demand for this Drawbridge solution uh, for the majority of companies that we interact with that manage, manually manage their approvals under their securities trading policies, uh, as well as for other digital products for corporate actions. Um, what we've seen with the additional market opportunities that can provide greater value, it's alongside a dedicated facilities for employees to actually trade shares post that compliance approval, with a reminder that most uh, employees within public companies are not traditional share traders. These are often shares that they've received for the first time, or they've been interacting with a public company for the first time and may want to buy shares, it must be done using the appropriate process. Um, but also the system for, for managing the vesting of securities um, using employee incentive schemes is a really, really problematic area of the marketplace. Um, there is no solution out there that properly manages it. Um, and, and that's what we've seen as being a key problem out there in the marketplace and, and one that Drawbridge is going to be solving. So the team are actively building um, out those solutions as well as looking at ways that we can fast track in terms of the trading of securities as well. Um, we obviously have the MOU with, with Sell My Shares in the marketplace to establish that, but um, there's certainly a lot of things that we can do there to accelerate our movement into this marketplace, which is only going to grow. Um, and, and certainly pleased to see that um, the ASX's DLT solution uh, was brought live um, in terms of the ability to put applications on top of um, the DLT solution. So um, yeah, very, very positive market outlook there, I would say. Um, I'd say we've also um, establishing some really, really good relationships um, within the team for how we can bring those products to market. And then alongside what we're doing just in corporate actions. Um, there's also a real focus on driving additional value for shareholders within the blockchain industry. Um, so if you have a look at some of the key areas there, um, the digital finance CRC is one that was uh, written extensively about in the AFR. So we're part of that consortium for $60 million of government funding. Um, and, and it's a market opportunity, I think it's been described as around $32 trillion in size. 
uh, as the digitization of the resources industry, um, how the jork industry is currently managed, um, how resources are currently invested in. Um, clearly, we've got some expertise already there with the way that we've assisted bullion asset management, uh, which is the digital gold bullion solution out of Singapore. So we know this marketplace well, we obviously know the technology well, and very, very exciting to see the government coming along in the form of an extensive amount of funding for this opportunity. Uh, alongside the CRC, there's also um, government body ASIC that's looking for digital solutions to manage um, some of those market operations and market surveillance that they do, um, which has an initial uh, grant of around $100,000 with a future potential grant of around a million. And, and that's something that we've obviously applied for with the drawbridge uh, solution and, um, and one that I think that uh, we're in a pretty good position for as well. Um, obviously, uh, knowing the team, knowing the product and, and knowing how we could potentially help out with how that, uh, that monitoring solution is currently being done. Um, you know, that's something that we'll find out about over the next quarter. But um, yeah, certainly wanted to highlight to shareholders that you know, the management team is really focused out there on how we can drive additional value for shareholders within this industry, where it's clear that now that the government is coming along uh, and funding is coming down the pipe as well. So we're in a great position to be able to get some exposure to that. Exactly right. Exactly right. No, I think um, shareholders should definitely be pretty excited for the next 12 months. Um, a lot of these moves are happening just outside, obviously, digital asset companies, even with the government, like you mentioned. Um, so, yeah, something something pretty big at play at the moment. And I think, you know, to have an outlook of two to three years um, is is nothing that's too, too extensive, nor um, when you're looking at an investment should be obviously something that you're taking into consideration. So, look, I know a lot of shareholders have been pretty patient um that they, they would say but um yeah this this is in a really good position moving forward for the next next year or two in terms of that so um now moving on to i guess is there anything else shareholders that i guess you you think they they should know about at the moment it's about dcc or or anything else anything else you can comment on well i think that the core core message is obviously that digital x has been taking a very deliberate and systematic approach to what we've been doing in this marketplace for generating scalable, or delivering scalable business. And it's pleased to see that hitting the financials this quarter. So we want to accelerate that. Um, in terms of the funds under management side, that is still growing in this marketplace. Um, despite the, the drawdown, you've seen fund inflows there uh, were 2.86 million, including digital X's, 750,000, which you know, reflects our confidence in the long-term outlook for the digital asset sector. In terms of the drawbridge side of the business, there is genuine market opportunity for the product as it stands. And I think we can use that to drive additional products into that corporate governance marketplace within Australia over the next quarter as well. Um, there's certainly a lot of acti activity happening within the team there to drive that value. Um, and I think on the, the non-core activities as well, um, I saw a very muted response um, in terms of shareholder, um, share price appreciation to the human protocol news. Um, clearly, that is a significant value, um, around $8.3 million that we had that was recognised through a, a process with the financial team as well as our auditor. Um, so I expect that to, um, that to have more news coming over the coming year. Um, and then on the ex bullion side of things, um, they have been seeing some good traction. Um, we're actually seeing some very, very high profile investors that are looking to make an investment or have subscribed for an investment over the last um, short period of time as well. So, um, you know, Digital X's team continues to deliver products for them to help them expand just beyond digital gold, uh, other precious metals there, um, digital money. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a really really exciting time for I think our shareholders for the team um, as well as the financial position the company's in. So yeah, yeah. I uh, I couldn't be prouder of the team and uh, look forward to the next chapter for Digital X. Perfect, perfect. Now I, I wanted to say a, a big thank you I guess on behalf of uh, Port Jackson here, um, the shareholders as well. Um, you know we've been incredibly appreciative of your tenure 
at DCC and um, how you've put the company in a position that it is at the moment, um, positioning it more than adequately for the next two years and obviously for governments to be making moves that they are at the moment. Um, yeah, shareholders should be really excited um, for the next two years. So we're really excited to see that um, come to fruition and um, yeah, a big, big thank you um, on behalf of us and, and shareholders as well. Thanks, Jacob. Yeah, that's really appreciated and thanks for the support of Fordham and, and running the, the webinar so we can communicate better with our, our shareholders. Not a problem. Anytime. We're always, always happy to have you on. So um, to conclude this, I just wanted to say as well, um, if shareholders do have questions, um, if they'd like to know a little bit more about Digital X, obviously you guys have got direct contact. Reach out to, to Lee in the next two months. Um, I'm sure he's going to have a lot on his plate. Um, if you do have any questions or you'd like to know a little bit more about DCC, if you'd like a second opinion, feel free to reach out to us, uh, Port Jackson Securities website. Um, feel free to register your details there. Um, we'll be happy to give you some comprehensive research behind the business, what we think, and um, keep you well and truly updated. But um, yeah, thank you to everyone tuning in. Um, really appreciate it. And thank you as well, Lee, for, for tuning in. Um, we'll, be, we'll be excited to see um, keep an eye on DCC over the next couple months but um wishing you a smooth tra transition thanks Jacob cheers no worries all right thanks again guys we'll end it there speak to you next time